Hello, welcome. My name is Shaquille Feldbaum, and in this video, I will be giving you guys like a overall like overview of how this electric motor that I've been working on is gonna work and how it will look and everything. So um, I was actually planning on doing a little bit more of like a SolarWorks like deep dive in how I designed the thing, but I actually lost some footage with like SolarWorks crashing and that causing also my screen recorder to crash. So that was like an hour of material gone. So um, I decided to just finish it up and do everything that I did uh do already so then just have it finished and then, then make a video on how it works and everything so without talking about it anymore uh first part would be the actual stator for the electric motor so uh this is like the iron core of everything and you would use iron because it helps creating magnetic forces too and also likes uh also helps with distributing things and everything so that is the first thing that i wanted to make for the part um and that i kind of have selected here there are some weird shapes in there too that couldn't really be cnc because the plan is to have it metal 3d printed because within uh this project that i'm working on is for the 2040 car design project and i kind of go off of the things that i think will be possible uh in 20 years time so metal 3d printing and also multi-material metal 3d printing is something that i'm kind of focusing and basing this whole project on uh, the second part that I included would be then to have the copper coils also surrounding those uh, points and there are 50 around uh, 50 of them around there and they would have like also um, but that would be basically one piece to have the metal 3d printed in one go so you can also like space optimize everything and keep it as lightweight as possible and also use like computer technology to uh, optimize how, how it is positioned and everything to get the, the maximum amount of uh, magnetic forces being created to produce the most torque you could so um, that is kind of the first part so this would be the stator this would, this would be the most heaviest part of the electric motor and therefore I kind of chose to have the electric the copper coils on the inside that would stay stationary because then it's no longer a rotational mass that you would need to accelerate or, or deaccelerate. So um, that is the first part of the electric motor. So this would be the stator. Then here we have like an outer rim and this would be housing all of the magnetic, uh, the permanent magnets that would go in there. And here we go with those permanent magnets. So here you would be able to see that they have, uh, they are alternating between the poles. So some of them, so this one would be basically negative and then this one would be a positive and then all the way around in the whole circle. And um, that would basically be the rotating part. So this would then be turning and spinning around um those coils and everything and you would be able to generate electricity when you're not putting it in but the car is rotating and you try to take it to a stop or you would be able to put electricity into it and start like the revolutions for it so that is basically how this part would work um and then i kind of started working on the outer rim so this would be uh let's also put the other side on there so this component would basically house not only uh the tire itself that would also be on there so let's put that in there so um this component houses the tire but also at the same time it is the the start of the ball bearing so here you can kind of see like the guide pattern the, the curvature in there that you would be able to put multiple balls in there so that is what this thing right here is and i think i only have where is it here i think i only have one in there at the current moment because i'm just trying to keep the file size down but in a regular situation you would have like basically the whole circle then they're filled up with them so it will probably result in another 50 or so of those little uh ball bearings in there so um the second part of the ball bearing would be so the, the bottom uh, the bottom housing for it so let's also open that on this side of it um and then you would be able to see like the ball bearing being squeezed between there and then you would have a bolt pattern i should attach those properly um here we go so then you would be able to see like um yeah the, how it would rotate and everything so Usually you would see that if this is rotating, then you would kind of have it at half speed. So what I also did is that we have like a ball bearing placeholder here that you could see move along with everything. So 
that would kind of uh, rotate at half of the speed of the actual tire. So you would see the outer tire move at speed one, then the ball bearing itself would be at ha half of one, like let's just call it that. And then the inner part would stay stationary. So uh, while the car would be driving and everything, you would be able to see kind of this effect. And I think that, um, but I just put this with the fan grills or something in there to see it rotating. But uh, design wise, I could attach whatever I want to to that part right there to have multiple things happen to it and kind of see what it would um, lead to. So I think there's some cool stuff to be done with that design wise that you could, um, you know, put maybe some graphics in here or like Michelin is like tire riding on there these days, you know, like you could do some different stuff to it. So, um, or maybe even replicate like tire spokes or something. If you would want to make it look like a traditional rim, you could do something like that to it too. So, um, yeah, that is basically damn near already everything that is going to be in here. But um, to kind of make sure that you kind of get the basic gist of it, this would be the complete tire and this would already be able to propel the car. How strong it would be, what horsepower numbers it would produce, I don't have a clue. But um, it's just the kind of the basic principles on where I think 2040 uh, automotive technology would be and how it would be produced, basically. So metal 3D printing would be fully incorporated in it. And also like a lot of software optimization topology tools that would be able to like make it way better than any human would kind of be able to think about it or calculate it so that is basically the whole principle for it the next stage is going to be attaching uh suspension components to it so i will have like this internal shell because it is also stationary will also uh kind of deal with a lot of the forces for the suspension and i will attach like the wishbone arms and structures to it I will, and i will also attach the um the actual steering bracket and the, the mounting points for the steering arms to it and um that is kind of the next component to it so you would be able to continue to see like a fully hollow spoke wheel that is um yeah attached to the body by some suspension arms that are kind of floating in there they're still attached to it but you don't really see like a, a traditional upright or a brake disc because also the capability of braking with an electric motor at that time will hopefully be sufficient to get the car to a full stop uh, while doing full energy recovery from it too. So um, that is basically the principle of how a helpless electric motor would work in the day and age of 2040. So um, yeah, hopefully that was an informative video. Hopefully it is also a little bit shorter than the previous one, but still kind of shows you how my thought process is for this project and everything that I want to incorporate in having a design project for 2040. So uh, yet again, thanks for watching. My name is Shaquille Feldbaum. Please leave a like or subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. I'm out.